Okay, time for another political video. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to keep these short and sweet. Uh, I'm just going to use my screenwriting abilities to analyze the character of some of the Democratic uh, candidates that are running for president uh, based on, you know, my screenwriting skills. So I, I don't know all these guys, so I'm just going to skip a few of them. Uh, Michael Bennett, I don't know that guy. He looks like, he kind of looks like the... Uh, police commissioner in a movie um so that's about all i got on him joe biden joe biden looks like the corrupt president in the movie <laughs> he looks like the guy who says nice things but then behind the scenes he's like really evil he's probably gonna win if hillary clinton doesn't uh, uh join the fray bill de blasio oh my god he's the mayor of new york i this guy is like the oldest social justice warrior alive i think and um uh, I don't know why, I don't know why he, he's so, so crazily uh, an SJW. He doesn't look like a president to me. He looks like a mayor. He looks like he should be the mayor of like San Francisco, really, uh, instead of New York. Cory Booker. Cory Booker looks very presidential. He looks like he could be the president in a movie. Um, but I don't think he'll be the real president. He's, our, he's one of our senators from New Jersey. I hear he takes a lot of money from pharmaceutical companies. Um, early on, man, he had a great run. He saved some people from a burning house, I think. And, you know, he, he was a kind of a doer. And now it just seems like he didn't know what the hell to do to get elected president. He just says and tries a bunch of things and none of it works. He, he really needs to chill out. Stephen Bullock. I had never even heard of him. Uh, oh, Pete Buttigieg. Um... I like this guy. He's pretty good. I like him because he's gay and he's running as a Democrat and he's not beating you over the head that he's gay, uh, which he could certainly do in the Democratic Party. Uh, so I got to hand it to him. That, that to me, uh, uh, takes, I mean, that would be an easy win for him for a couple of extra points. And I think he's running on his record rather than, you know, his identity. So I have some respect for him. I don't know uh, a lot about his policies, but it, he seems seems cool. Um, you know, from a screenwriting standpoint, uh, he seems he's, he looks more like a presidential aide than the actual president, I guess because he's young. Juan Castro. Oh, uh, Mayor of San Antonio. Yeah, I saw him on stage. Um, he, uh, you know, I, I, I guess he... I guess he could be president. I don't know. Um, he strikes me, uh, again, more as a, uh, if I had to cast him in a movie, he'd be more like a mayor or a, a police commissioner. He does, doesn't really strike me as presidential, but that's just me. John Delaney. No, I don't really know this guy. Again, he, he looks more like a police sergeant. Should be like a police sergeant. Tulsi Gabbard, who I really do like. Um, I think she's got, uh, she's really got her head right uh, to foreign policy, but I'm an anti-war guy, as you all know. Um, I don't know about that Hawaiian lay thing going on, but, uh, you know, she, she seems like she's pretty together. She seems like she could be president in a movie where the president was a woman. I, you know, I don't think she's going to, I think she's really running for president for 2024, but... Uh, you know, I, I I think she's pretty presidential. Kristen Gillibrand. No, she's like, she looks like somebody's mom. And <laughs> she should be like somebody's suburban, the suburban housewife look. That's that's her kind of look. She doesn't, uh, total, she looks like she'd be overwhelmed as president. Oh, Mike Gravel. He's hilarious. Uh, this guy would be president in a comedy movie where he would be the president. Uh, but not not in reality. <laughs> but damn, he's funny. I wish I hope he gets back on stage, uh, but I don't think he will. Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris definitely looks like the villain in a movie. I think. Uh, I think she she could be president in a movie where the president was the bad guy, uh, and had to had to be taken down. Jay Inslee. I don't know him. He looks like a prison warden. Uh, Amy Kovachar. I've heard of her. Um, nah, I don't, I don't know. She doesn't, she doesn't look very, like, very much like a politician to me. Looks more like a librarian. 
Yeah. Wayne Messam, I never heard of him. Seth Moulton, never heard of him. Oh, Beto O'Rourke. I got lots to say about this guy. Now, this guy, to me, he's like, he's like Buttigieg, only, like, phony. I think his acting chops aren't so good. I think a lot of what he does is very practiced, and he's not good. He's not, he doesn't, to me, he doesn't come off as sincere. I think he's the biggest phony on two feet. I think every word coming out of his mouth is a lie. I think he'd say anything to be president. And uh, it feels like, feels like he's been hired to run for president. That's what it feels like to me. Like he's the Manchurian candidate that's been handpicked to run. Tim Ryan. Do I know? I, that name sounds familiar. Eh, I don't know. He looks kind of like an insurance salesman, I think. Bernie Sanders. Well, you know... Bernie, he, he plays kind of like the socialist grandfather. But uh, the thing about Bernie is he's gone so long as the one socialist in Congress. It's like his shtick only works when he's by himself. Because it's kind of like deep down he knows none of his stuff will ever come to pass. So he's okay with like screaming bloody murder about how socialism can, you know, solve everything. Because he knows he'll never have to prove it. But now things have changed. Now there's all these socialists in Congress. And he's kind of like, Ugh, guys, take it easy. You're ruin ruining my whole deal. Tom Steyer. Oh, this guy. Yeah, this is the guy who buys all the YouTube ads. Uh, kind of looks like a football coach, I think. Uh, uh, you know, on the, on the losing team in a movie where, you know, the scrappy young team wins. And so maybe he cheats a bit. I don't know. Joe Sestak. Wow. I've never seen this guy. He looks kind of, kind of old, like old, like I'm, I'm sick kind of old. Like I've smoked too, seg too many cigarettes old, old. He's, he, he kind of looks, I would cast him as the grumpy uncle, I think in a movie. Elizabeth Warren. I would cast her as Hillary Clinton in 2016. I mean, basically this is what it is. It's like, it's like the same person <laughs> running. It's almost the same hair and everything. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a shame because in the beginning she sounded kind of sincere, wanting to reform the banks and all that kind of stuff. I don't think she's really done much. And with all the stuff that's come out about her and all the misstates, I mean, missteps, the stuff about the beer. I mean, that was just bad. Uh, that was a terrible video. Elizabeth, you should have never done that. Oh, Marianne Williamson. This is the one we all hope stays in the debate because she is hilarious. Uh, she is like, again, the president in a comedy movie where everybody's a hippie. It would be like a hippie world comedy and this would be the president because she's very much hippie the way she talks and uh, talking about love and winning with love and all that kind of stuff. You know, it, it's it's kind of like she's she seems like a nice person. I don't know if she could handle the presidency. She seems a little too nice for it. It seems to me we need somebody tougher. Andrew Yang. Andrew Yang. He feels like the main character in a movie about like Google or something in Silicon Valley or something. He does not seem like a president. To me, he doesn't seem very presidential. He's a little too, a little too young and hip. He, he's, that's why I think he belongs in like Silicon Valley, like the head of some big tech firm, like the cool guy who's the head of some tech firm. I see him as a good guy though. See, he seems to want to help people. And uh, oh, and these are the guys who dropped out: John Hickenlooper, Richard o Ojeda, and Eric Stal Swalwell. Swalwell, I remember that guy. That guy was like a young Dan Quayle. Really big hair. Yeah, he wasn't going to win. Uh, so my prediction for the Democratic election, I think Biden's uh, pretty much a lock unless Hillary Clinton enters the race, in which case then it's Hillary. Uh, and the, my third choice, so it would be, my first choice would probably be Biden. That's the most logical choice. My second choice would probably be Hillary Clinton. H.A. Goodman talks about that all the time. I'm becoming more and more convinced that she might run. 
Uh, my next choice would be Elizabeth Warren. I think she's got Bernie Sanders beat. I don't think Bernie Sanders. I don't. I just don't think Bernie Sanders can win. No, it would have to be a very unusual circumstances for him to win at this point. There's too many people going for the left, 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 left side of politics. I don't think anybody else could get in there. Uh, you know, Sticks and Hammer talks about Beto O'Rourke on the rise in kind of a weird way. Uh, not that he's predicting him, but I, I, don't, I don't see anybody else. I think it's going to be Biden, probably.